Hey all, Liam here, hope you are doing well. Valve has now released a new SteamOS beta version, which comes with quite a few nice tweaks and improvements, so let's go over what's new. Firstly, for nostalgia fans, there's a whole new desktop theme named VGUI2 Classic, which looks like the old original Steam theme. And honestly, I absolutely love it. It is now my Steam Deck desktop theme, and it is staying. Another bit of good news is that Firefox is now installed as a flat pack, solving the previous security issues where I warned you away from using it. So now instead of Firefox being included with the OS, when you first go to use it, it will then actually send you to the Discover store to install it. This also means you will be doing the updates yourself in desktop mode via Discover. If you mess about with network connections in desktop mode, it'll stick system-wide now, so they'll work in gaming mode. They've also enabled initial IBUS IME input support on the desktop, so that you get support for Chinese, Japanese, and Korean keyboards. They've also fixed some problems with the Xbox login window for games like Flight Simulator and Halo Infinite not actually rendering certain characters. A really curious one though is that they mentioned updates to controller firmware utilities to support future controller hardware revisions. Now this actually sounds quite exciting, perhaps even a Steam controller too, but it's most likely to account for just general hardware revisions to the Steam Deck manufacturing process. But then again, when they're talking about future controller hardware revisions, that sounds quite a bit bigger, doesn't it? What do you think? Do let me know in the comments on that point. Additionally, Valve also released a Steam Deck client beta update with these changes. The first is quite a good one. They've added a favorite and popular guide section to the Steam overlay for really easy access. There's also now a notification when the Steam Deck temperature goes outside the safe operating range. The achievement progress notifications like you've got 5 out of 100 will no longer play sounds. The virtual keyboard was resized in desktop mode to the appropriate dimensions. And there's a couple of other miscellaneous fixes. So all pretty good stuff. I hope you appreciate the quick rundown there. I'll see you in the next video.